Let you guys take it away. You've got the microphone, right? Yeah, my pleasure. Um, so I'm, my name is Jacques. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fullbot. We're actually coming from Luxembourg, which is also partly French, and we set up at the um, Sunnyvale the uh, plug and play. What I would like to talk to you uh, tonight is about the, the air we're breathing. So what we breathe, um, it's actually something we don't even think about it because it's so obvious to breathe, whether inside or outside. But I don't know how many of you have ever realized that we spend up to 90, 90% of our lifetime indoors. And that's actually where the air is up to eight times more polluted than outdoors. But obviously, as we don't see it, we don't uh, really care or not care, or we just uh, suffer at the, uh, on, on, the, on the long run. Um, so that's the reason why we created FUBOT. So FUBOT is here on the table. Um, that's an IoT, uh, basic IoT devices that is um, embedding sensors and working on, on data. To provide this monitoring system, we embedded um, and we look on the 24 7 uh, reading on the two major sources of pollution, which are <coughs> the uh, chemical one, the VOCs, that's all the uh, volatile organic compounds, so all the, the, the toxic gases that you have. Well, granted, there's a problem with the vehicle. You want me to switch? Yeah. And with the, the chemical, we have the, um, the physical pollution, that's the PM2.5, you may be a little bit more familiar, that's the one we inhale, and they get into uh, our respiratory um, system. Also, we have temperature, humidity, because it's, it's uh, uh, the best way to get a, ba a good balance of uh, uh, indoor air quality. We have a first instant reading on the device itself, with the LEDs, when it's full blue, that means it's good, so here we almost full, full good, that's two-thirds, and then, when it goes down and turns orange, means there is pollution uh, inside your dwellings. And the rest, of course, is on the app. That's where we will switch uh, to the app for you to, uh, to, to demo. And the idea is to provide you... Can you switch to the app? Um, yeah. And then, um, so the first reading on, on the device, the second reading, of course, on the, on, on the smartphone app, where you can have the reading of all the, the sensors and much more, let's get, yeah, okay, that's the, the, the main screen where you can have the, you have the global reading inside, so you read from 18 to uh, 20, and then you can go and, and read um, each sensor, like the PM 2.5, you access then the, um, the charts where you can, you can scroll down and follow the, um, the, uh, the timeline. In the center, you have the, uh, the threshold. You should not be going over. That's the one used by uh, the World Health Organization. And you can navigate through the different sensors. Okay, forget it. Um, go back to home. Uh, you've got also t temperature on the, on the top, the humidity uh, over there, and, and every, each and every sensor uh, can be read also there. You can receive warnings, notification. That's the, um, the idea of the app. Um, now, back to and switch back to the, um, the computer so that this could really look like something nice to have. You could think, okay, that's good. Now I'm monitoring, I'm reading what, what's in the air. But now who's going to fix it? Well, partly you. Um, we will ask you to do something because you can do something about the, uh, uh, your indoor air quality by changing behaviors, by um, understanding the impact of the product you use. But the most powerful thing is then to turn Fubot into a, um, um, a device that is embedded into other devices, appliances, or system. So if you want to take care of your home, there are already several projects we've, been wor we've worked on and delivered. The first one is an air purifier. We've embedded our Wi-Fi chip inside. Um, we, they have our, te uh, it's a Swedish company, they have our technology, uh, the football technology inside uh, their monitor, and we, they, we keep control from monitoring to controlling the, um, the air purifier. Another one, which is based on another technology, a photocatalyst technology, so it's inside the air duct, taking control, Fubot takes control over a um, uh, connected thermostat to switch on, off, boost, and also monitor on um, all day long the, the indoor air quality. So it's the best trigger for um, indoor air quality. On the other side, high, uh, side you have also the, the health part. Um, 
we um, uh, deli will be delivering in May a major contract with an health platform. So it's provided the same way they provide um, the quantified self uh, product like devices like Fitbit. Fitbit will be providing the, uh, the, the, the full bot part of a um, uh, health program for a company. And that's another, another use case with the discharge phase when you go out of the hospital so that we can follow up inside your house and quantify your environment so we make sure that everything is, is, is fine. Another powerful tool is, sorry it's a very hard to breathe here, but it's a dashboard. It's for the professional people so that they can monitor, they can make kind of Google Analytics on each and every sensor and, and read them all, all time long so that they can deliver a service to the end users. Um, just to finish, I uh, would like to thank you all uh, for, for this opportunity and also we're very keen on um, making partnership on pilot, piloting the, with, the, with the device inside companies, could be related to health, uh, to um, um, insurance also, would be very interesting. Thank you. What kind of B2B traction have you had? I have several clients in the OEM space in, in larger commercial settings yeah. that I could see this being used for. Have you guys approached any you know, shopping malls, refri like refrigeration sections of grocery yeah. stores? Also, not directly. We go through the head track and uh, f uh, building uh, or facility management uh, businesses uh, okay. so that it's a tool that can provide a service based on the, uh, on the tool. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, was well, the question was, <laughs> what's the the B two B approach towards um, commercial um, uh, spaces? Um, yeah, the one. Yeah. So, uh, have you seen other ideas similar to your idea? Because I've actually seen an idea just like this. The only difference is you actually put the healthcare, which is actually a good selling point with you know the healthcare when you are released from a hospital or intensive. Um, but their unit was kind of like a a fire wall unit, it detected carbon monoxide, exact metals, it wasn't just based off a of scale how you made it, and it also included kind of a scale as well, um, and it also um, they were kind of trying to go like Nest, where they can eventually connect with your HVAC and actually... So basically you're asking about the competitive yeah, so landscape. <laughs> Yes, th there is competition. The competition is really growing. What is going to most probably make the difference is between um, the device as a pure consumer good, consumer you know uh, uh, facing uh, product devices with data, um, and what we looking into. Uh, sorry, not with data. It's just the readings. So it's 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 um, uh, almost time, real time if you want, but it's just the reading. What we're looking at is to analyze work on the data itself. That's where. That's the, 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 the most interesting um, project. Even if you think about um, carbon monoxide or uh, radon um, sensors, they just started at a certain point, which is the threshold. What about the, the, the reading below the threshold? Wouldn't that make sense to follow up on that reading so that we can quantify the impact on your health? That's the idea of the uh, connecting sensors and providing uh, service on, based on the data. Is this available as a consumer product, and can I what what price would I pay to buy? Excellent question. Question. Thank you, because uh, that was also my conclusion. But uh, um, yes, uh, question was: Is it available? Is uh, it's it is on the market? It's on a website. It's on Amazon. Um, also, it's available. And we have for you tonight. We have uh, vouchers for those who would be interested with a twenty-five percent discount. Um, I've got exactly fourteen of them, so we we'll have to. Uh, Negotiate, maybe. <laughs> what is the price? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, the retail price is one ninety nine US dollars. It's, it's a one time fee. There's no subscription. Uh, how many gas sensors do you have? Uh, on that it's before, uh, as as everybody is interested, uh, how you're going to compete with people who are going to make uh, much smaller versions and maybe more accurate ones on the wearables by two hundred dollar price. So the question was, uh, how many uh, gas sensors and how are we going to compete with uh, most probably what you think about the wearable devices, the next, maybe the next generation? Uh, yeah. yeah, actually I'm talking about cell phones because I'm trying to implement gas sensors in cell phones. So. Good luck. Yeah, we, we can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. um, um, so the, um, uh, the gas sensor, we have one main gas sensor. 
for the technology part, it's a TVOC, so it's a total photovoltaic compounds. We cannot differentiate. We we'll read about 25 to 30 different gases. Um, because the, the technology is not available yet. Down the road, there will be um, uh, sensors that will also differentiate. Now, the problem is that it's sensitive also to, um, uh, to the, uh, the heat, and um, it has to be constantly connected um, uh, to, to have a, a stable reading. So that's the, the reason why we don't go so far uh, with a mobile um, version. Yeah, so Actually, sorry guys, that's all the time we have. We gotta stay to the schedule, but please stick around and yeah, ask questions later. Round of applause. Thank you, bye. <laughs>